So I'm back, and my first good signal of the day. It's like a flat button. Yep, very nice. Well, in the last video, my hat was in the way, so who knows? Oh, just your run of the mill flat button. Alright, 11.40, 11.39, I think it just popped out a large scent, let's take a look, a uh, cut large scent, wow, amazing, maybe it's not a large scent then, it's pretty thick though, it's got to be a large scent, let's take a look together. Yeah, I think it's facing to the right. Never heard of cutting a large scent though. I think I see the wreath going around, but it's not very well defined. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, I think that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Matron head. Is the bottom part. The date would be right around here. Uh. Well, if I rub it too much, I'm not going to get any details out, but I think it, 1817, yeah, pretty sure that says 1817, that makes sense, 1817 cut large scent, very cool, hopefully you can see that. All right, right here is where I found that cut large scent, and I had a 11:25 signal right next to it. Oh wow, pretty fancy uh, clock winder. <laughs> I like finding those. Very cool. Alright, got something at the bottom of the hole. So I was reading 1630 when, uh, before I cut the plug. Still reading like 1225. Looks pretty big to be a button. Let's find out what it is together. There it is. It's pretty big. Huh. It is a button. A little bit of design on the front. A T. A four. 
Yes. Some sort of tag, but um, I can't tell if it was done over a large scent or something. I'm almost thinking this is still a coin. 25C 4F. I don't it looks like this was a coin. It's a large cent or maybe a British half penny. All right, looks like I got another button here. Just pulled out of the hole around seven or eight inches. Not bad. A little bit of gold guild left on it. Should clean up pretty nice. Cool. Pretty weak signal too. I caught the beginning of that when I was pinpointing it. It was a 12 9 reading. I wasn't certain what it was going to be, but it looks like it's a pretty old flat button. In really nice shape. Pretty thin. Shank intact. Nice. Pretty sweet. All right, well, pretty deep signal here. Way down there. Just scooped it out of there. Deep as that. Yeah. Whatever that is. But look at this. This is kind of neat. A little dainty key. Looks like it's broken though. Let's see if it's in the hole still. This gave a really faint signal. Pretty cool though, I like finding these kind of keys, skeleton keys. I wish it had the uh is it hollow? Yeah. It's really neat though. Very cool. Alright, looks like I found a uh you know, foot locker latch or something like that big old keyhole though on it. It's really delicate. You can see it's already breaking. Pretty cool. Alright, looks like I got a utensil handle here in the hole.
Hansen. It's a silver plated. Alright, pretty cool. Yeah, this is like a nickel signal here, and I think I got a nickel in the hole, and uh, again, like yesterday, I don't think this is going to be a Jefferson or a Buffalo. This, you can kind of tell, once it's a V-nickel or before, it's just a thinner nickel. So, oh, it's just another shield nickel. No way. Oh my goodness, really? Yep. Woo, and I'm going to get a date off this one. Yep. I wonder if I could get a date on this one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need a loop. The dates on these things are small as it is. But, uh, I'm not going to do too much rubbing in the field here because I'll bring it home. Looks like the uh, date side was the side that's going to be the better details. I mean, I can see the one in the eight. A little bit of a splotch there, so oh wow, that's pretty cool. Rub it with a little bit of a sponge here, see if I get a date. Maybe eighteen sixty eight. I think I see an 8 at the end there. 1868, maybe. That's yeah, super cool. There's another raise. All right. Very cool. Oh, wow.